Hello everyone, welcome back. We are in chapter 4. Okay. Let's run, it's not that far. I always forget that I have the skateboard. Wiretapping. Now who did it? Who knows? Could be corporate espionage? Oh, what's this? Excuse me. Did you just say corporate espionage and wiretapping? Yes, that's right. Our company is currently in crisis mode. Turns out confidential information has been leaking to our competitors. What does that mean? Did you find any bugs? Yeah, actually, we found one by pure accident. Then we hire a detective to sweep the building and he finds five more. Apparently, it's been happening all over Ijincho lately. Everyone's talking about it on Chatter. Some corrupt detective willing to do all sorts of shady things. Hmm. hmm. Maybe I should look into this crook competition. What does the buzz researcher have to say? Got a keyword listening device. Oh, oh here we go. Go there, okay. Let's go there. Let's investigate this wire tapping incident. down. What a waste. What a waste. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, inside here. I can. I'm full. So it's not here. Oh, there's another location then.
so if I'm on skateboard then they don't attack. Okay, I, I mean just Stay down. So this is where they found the wire tapper. Already quite a crowd enough here. Is enough. As I've already told you, I'm here to locate them, not plant them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Look who's here. You're a detective who hired you. The text they have a strict code of client confidentiality, but I admit this wasn't for an official case, but more my own curiosity. Your curiosity? Yeah, that sounds like the likely cover story for a serial bugger like people have been complaining about. And you definitely look the part. Well... Huh? He gets pinched. Hey. This security guard is accusing me of pla plaguing the town with bugs. You know this yep. guy? Yes, we've been friends for a long time, just as he said. He's a detective and he's definitely not the kind of resort to such shady jobs. I'm not sure I should be trusting you either. Hmm. <clears throat> War clothes. Yagami yeah, Detective Agency Business Card. Mm. An attorney badge that I work hard to earn, although I stop practicing. Let's go with the business card. This is who I am. As you can see, I'm not a suspicious individual. You're a detective too? Maybe you're the corrupt detective everyone's talking about. Hold on. Just like any corrupt detective would say. Oh my god, they are. I'm a lawyer. If you're going to trick my friend like a criminal without any proof, this badge might have to come into play at some point. You're a lawyer? For lawyers vouching for him, then I don't see a problem here. Sorry about that. Have a nice day. Oh, that was so easy. You see, I was thinking to show him the. I owe you one. <laughs> but that's okay. We are out of trouble. Hey. Uh. Hmm. I heard something about the corrupt detective earlier, so he's the wiretapper that security guard was hoping to catch. Sure. This individual performs some rather unsavory duties for clients, assisting stalkers and loan sharks in finding their targets, for example. Mm. This guy sounds pretty awful, a legit detective will turn those clients down. I wholly agree. The notion of allowing this man to tarnish the title of detective did not sit well with me. Hence, I was driven to the field of it to investigate. <laughs> but I just up, which I, I just wound up being accused of performing the deed I was attempting to stop. Goodness, whatever can I do? <sighs> Maybe try cutting out the sly grins and conspiratorial giggles when you're on the job. Mm. But I can help grinding when dealing with such fascinating subjects. How about instead I have you continue the investigation for me? 
you can use this track to track clandestine signals invest invented by yours truly. Oh. You want me to do it? <laughs> it appears I am destined to bear the cross of the suspicious individual, but you certainly have no worries of that. Uh. I don't know yep. about that. I certainly do. You've got an ace up your sleeve. An attorney's badge you can flash in a pinch. So that being said, please take this with you. What now? We have a detector now. Yep. Gotcha. Side quest. The Stardly Detective. Okay, gadgets detector. That will be. Hmm, that's a detector. Signals weak. In the parking lot. Where is the parking lot? Oh, it's over here. Picking it up. Just a second, the parking lot is bigger. Signal's weak. How do I know if it's weak or? Not really picking it up. I think I'm facing the wrong way. It's the parking lot. Signals weak. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, that's green. That me. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't saw the. Oh man, that flashy light. Not really picking it up. I think this car over here. Yeah. This car. Or maybe not. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting closer. Oh, that's nice, a nice gadget. Huh? Perhaps a bug of some sort's been planted in the car. Interested in my car, are you? Excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm Yagami, a detective. Oh, a real life detective. I'm a prosecutor. Oh. oh my. Oh, so you're a public prosecutor? To be honest, I loved mystery since I was little. The texts you are so fascinating, but I never thought I actually meet one like this. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Mr. Detective, what business do you have with my car? Oh, are you on a case? Is there a mystery here right now? Well, there seems to be a series of Illicit snooping activities going on around town lately, so I'm looking into the matter. And for some reason, your car's emitting a rather strange signal. Do you think my car's bogged? That depends. Do you ever have conversations in there that you wouldn't want others to hear? Yes, certainly discussing the day's upcoming trials with my secretary and such. Could that be a reason someone will want to bug my yep. car? 
It is possible. May I search it for you? By all means. The signals coming from this stuffed animal, it really was in his car. Hmm? Who was that lady? <clears throat> this belongs to my secretary. Huh? Damn it. You shall pay for your part in this sordid crime. Out the way, nerd. I take boxing class every week. <laughs> Master of Yagami style and I shall not hold back. Mm -hmm. I'll be back.
And I'm back. Excellent bluff. You really gotten good at that. Your fro form was perfect. <laughs> I've seen you fight enough times for the look of it to rub off at least. Okay, let's hear it. Whoa, so much money over there. What's the meaning of this? I'm sorry. I've been paid off. By whom? Was it that one defendant's lawyer? Yes, he claimed to be working for them. He also said he's a detective. Hmm. Detective? How do you describe this person for us? I think it's that the detective, the handyman maybe. I don't know what he looks like. We only talk over the phone. What about his voice? Excuse me. Okay, let's skip this. Not so much interested in side quests. <laughs> yep. In other words, hmm. Oh, I see. <laughs> I need the main story. Buzz details. Noise. Return to Yokohama. No, no. I'm not going to fight you, you know. Not today, not now. But these guys over here, they don't have a chance. There. Yagami san, do you have a minute? It's Shirokaki. Oh, oh. Oh, I was just about to call you. I was gonna say I've got some leads on the murder. By the way, you wouldn't happen to know a detective Watanabe, would you? From Kanagawa PD? Oh, yes. He came asking me about the harassment case. Apparently he couldn't interview Ahara, so he got us instead. Wanna know why that is? Apparently Tokyo PD suspects Ahara might be linked to the murder in some way. And since they don't want Kanagawa stealing the show, they're blocking their investigators out. That does make sense. Not in a bureaucratic way. By the way, when's your next appointment with Ahara? As soon as we're ready, honestly. Did you want to come along? Yeah, I was just about to ask that. But I'd like to do a bit more research beforehand. I want to know exactly how Ahara's crime played out. Funny you should say that. 
Hoshinokun just told me he's going to re-inspect the crime scene tomorrow. He said it'd be best to plot Ehara's movement from Ikebukuro all the way to Shinjuku, where he was caught. No kidding. Then I ought to go with. If that's the case, hold on one sec. Okay. Yagami-san? It's me, Hoshino. I'm stoked to hear you're helping me out tomorrow. <laughs> I'm stoked to be there. Oh, and could you bring the statements from Ahara's arrest with you? It'd be a huge help if you could walk me through what happened on site. You got it. We'll be starting from Ikebukuro Station, so just meet me there tomorrow. Will do. See you then. I can deal with the rest tomorrow. I think it's time to recharge. Let's go and recharge. Buzz details. I'm getting buzzing all the time. The body model get some rest. I need to meet up with Hoshino Kun at Ikebukuro Station. Of course, I'm going to take a cab. Crazy taxi. Okay, see that sign right there? Ehara was leaning on that before the incident. Yep, just like that. He was standing around searching for a victim. Ehara's the man in the cap and sunglasses. That's him deciding who to attack them. Looking at it now, he's pretty suspicious. So, Ahara was lingering at the platform a while, huh? Yeah, he walked past the ticket gate at 7.43 a.m. This was confirmed by the security tapes, as well as when he swiped his transit card. After that, he wandered the platform an entire hour ogling women. He spent that long choosing a target? Yeah, sick, isn't it? Then the security camera that caught him would be... that one? That's right. Ikebukuro is pretty famous for its sheer amount of foot traffic. In a station like this, the cameras almost never have a blind spot. Anyhow, at 9.06 a.m., Ehara finally honed in on his would-be victim. Then he boarded her train, which was departing for Shinjuku. She's the one in the pink cardigan and white skirt? Yeah, Yui Mamiya, an office worker and mother of a six-year-old boy. The two of them show up on the train's interior cam as well. According to the victim's statement, Ehara began by rubbing her posterior with the back of his hand. But it didn't stop there. After that, he put his hand up her skirt. Pretty sickening. I'm assuming he targeted someone shy, thinking she wouldn't resist. Makes me angry just thinking about it. The victim stated she was too scared to call for help. Meaning she endured this for six minutes until the train reached its stop in Shinjuku. Can you send what you just showed me to my phone? Sure. Now let's head to Shinjuku Station. Then we can watch as the jerk gets busted. Even if we did defend him in court, an asshole's still an asshole. Hmm. Looks like we're getting close to Shinjuku. The train's pretty light right now. But it was packed during the crime, right? 
Oh yeah, the car occupancy at that time of day can easily reach 180%. And Ahara should have been standing roughly where I am. Is there anything I can conclude for, from looking around? What the? Suspicious. The car's pretty empty right now, but when Ehara committed this crime, it was okay. Hmm. What the? Hey. This footage was recorded by the security camera in the train. I'm standing roughly where Ehara was. Suspicious. Hoshinokun attorney badge. Although he doesn't look like much at first glance, he did get top marks on the bar exam. Hey. Gandalf's bright young attorney is on this case to help out Sorry son. I thought I heard they were dating, but from what Jenda Sensei tells me, it hasn't really gone anywhere. Yeah, maybe. And maybe it's better. Uh huh. A security camera that records the train's interior. These were installed data train groppers, or at the very least, identify them. Something's more around here. Definitely. Ahara and Mamiya san both exited the train and got onto the platform here. But right before that, Mamiya san suddenly grabbed Ihara's wrist and yanked his hand out from under her skirt. That's when she got a good look at her assailant. So without a doubt, she saw it was him. Yes, and there were also traces of her garments on his hand during evidence analysis. Anyway, after being grabbed, Ihara wrenched himself free and took off at a sprint. See, here he gets off the train and bolts across the platform. And Mamiya san chases after him, asking people around her for help. Ah, this is what they kept looping on TV. Yeah. And honestly, with all this evidentiary footage, defending him in court was a lost cause. Was there any security footage that wasn't aired on TV? Sure. Take a look around you. There's more than just one camera pointed at us. They're practically everywhere. Oh, yeah. As for what I was saying earlier, Ihara was finally tackled right in front of those stairs. Oh, right. I have a diagram of the platform to show you. So, Ahara gets off the train here, and then gets apprehended here. How far apart is that? Roughly a hundred meters. Both he and the victim were weaving their way through the crowd. The whole scene was very chaotic. Even after Ahara was caught, the train was stalled 20 minutes until the area was deemed safe. Hey. You think we could get the positions of all these cameras and where they're pointing penciled in? Good idea. Let's check each camera's position as we walk over to where Ahara was detained. That's where he got tackled, so if you could let me know whenever you see a camera. I can mock it up on our diagram here. Check this one off. Hey. Found the camera. Hmm. A horror run off in the opposite direction. Probably don't need to mark this camera. Okay. I see one. Uh, that's all. Yeah. I can go there. Looks like we checked all the nearby cameras. Let's go up a little further now. Oh, okay. We are moving. Suspicious. I see one. 
suspicious. What the? There it is, that one. Camera. Uh -huh. There are cameras on the ATMs. checked all the nearby cameras. Let's move on. Oh, there are more. Suspicious. Okay, looks like we got all the cameras. Our diagram is now complete. This diagram represents the station at the time of the groping. Ehara got off the train around 9.12. From the, the boarding area, he ran in the direction of the arrow. Then he was tackled by concerned citizens. Now we'll pencil in the camera locations and what directions they're pointing. So each of the orange areas represent a security camera's field of view. Hey. What the? Suspicious. Ehara and the victim disembark here. The victim was gripping Ehara's hand, but he broke free of her. Then he tried to run away. Does the dot part of the arrow indicate a blind spot between the cameras? Yes. If so, there won't be any footage of Ehara running through here. Hmm. Hey. This arrow shows the path Ehara and the victim took as they ran from the platform to Ehara's point of capture. This is where Ehara got tackled by witnesses. Multiple others on the scene documented this with their smartphones cameras. This is what they call eyewitness footage. I bet the TV stations shell out for this sort of thing. So this was the general situation when Ahara committed his crime. What do you think, Yagami-san? Anything of note? Do you think Ahara and Mamiya-san were riding the train pretty frequently? Oh yeah, Mamiya-san commuted by train. She was here every weekday. Same goes for Ahara, actually, but he was off that day. 
Supposedly, he was going to see his wife, even though they're separated. Hmm. Did he ever say why he wandered around the platform for an hour? He said the thought of his wife had him flustered and he couldn't force himself to board the train. He always had an excuse ready for anything you asked him, including the harassment charges. He pled not guilty, but the evidence said otherwise. There wasn't a single argument we could make in court to establish reasonable doubt. Safe to say he did it. But on the same day, he knew his son's bully would be murdered in Ijincho. <sighs> Pretty clear it wasn't a spontaneous need to grab some ass. I agree. It's almost like all the commotion around the harassment might have been planned out. Maybe everything was. Even down to getting captured. Yeah. He really played everyone by turning harassment into an alibi for murder. No matter how much evidence points to him as a killer, we can deny it with complete immunity. This is getting crazier by the minute. <clears throat> At the very least, he had something to do with it. Some connection. But I can't imagine he'll talk. Whatever his plan is, it's pretty clear Ahara is committed. To what? Getting revenge for his son? I think so. Who do you think his accomplices could be? Ihara's a veteran cop. Think maybe he knows how to hire an actual assassin? If so, he could have just paid for his revenge, right? Sure. But assassins cost an arm and a leg. He wasn't rich before all this, was he? No. He barely scraped up enough to cover his lawsuit against the school. Thought so. I've gone to the scenes of both the murderer and the train groping. That should be all the places I need to see. Hey, it's Shiosaki. What's up, Sari-san? I'm scheduling an interview with Ahara tomorrow at the Tokyo Detention Center. We'll take a taxi from Genda's if that all works for you. Sounds good, but I need to head back to Ijincho for now. Something you forgot to do? Yeah, it involves Ahara's motive, which would be without a doubt his son's suicide. So I want to confirm if Mikoshiba really bullied the kid. And the best person to ask happens to be down in Ijincho. All right. Then I'll let you get to it. Cool. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Mikoshiba Ehara. Yeah, I think I saw everything there was to see at each of their crime scenes. Now all that's left is getting Sawa Sensei to talk. The key will be learning what happened with Ehara's son four years ago. Definitely. Okay, Ehara's transit card. That's something new. Let's pick with Sawa. Hey, we are going for the school. And we have a cab here. Taxi. Got a minute? No, not for you. I really have nothing more to say. What if I told you it's looking more and more likely Ihara-san had a hand in Mikoshiba's death? Well, it doesn't concern me. Ihara-san believes Mikoshiba tormented Toshiro-kun so badly that he took his own life. But neither the third-party investigation nor the courts were on his side. 
So what's the truth here? You know, don't you? <sighs> what really happened between Mikoshiba and Toshiroku? Why won't you tell me the truth? Why do you keep asking? I said I don't know! I'm going to the detention center tomorrow to get some answers out of Ahara-san. <sighs> what? I saw where Mikoshiba was murdered. He endured no shortage of cruelty before he died. They tortured him, you know. They broke all his fingers before they slid his throat. No. I know I'm putting her through a lot right now, but she's connected to this too. She's got information I need to know before I go to see Ehara. And somehow Ehara-san knew Mikoshiba would be killed on the day he got caught for groping. It's like he did it to prove he had nothing to do with the murder. But maybe that wasn't his real objective at all. Huh? I think he wanted to signal that he'd finally avenged his son. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. If I'm gonna face him tomorrow, I can't go in without some ammunition. So, four years ago, did Mikoshiba bully Toshiro-kun or not? That's all I want to know. My answer won't change. There's no evidence Miko Shibakun did anything wrong. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Take a look at this. That's... Toshiro Ehara, your student. Imagine that he's listening to what you're saying now. If you can look at him and say Mikoshiba played no part in his death, I'll leave you alone. In fact, you'll never hear a word from me again. So which is it? Hmm. So which is Four it? Four years ago, not long after I'd transferred here to teach English. That's when it started. I was trying my best to get acclimated, and I was finally on a first-name basis with everyone. One day, after school, I was out on the roof taking a break, when Toshiro-kun suddenly ran by. I called out to him to ask what was wrong, but he shushed me and kept running. I saw he had a bloody nose. Moments later, Miko Shiba-kun showed up. He was looking for him. I told him I hadn't seen him. Toshiro-kun's face told me everything I needed to know. So Miko Shiba was bullying him after all? Yes. Toshiro-kun told me this later on. Whenever he'd leave school with Miko Shiba-kun and his friends, they'd force him to hand over money. At first, they'd try to pass it off as a joke. They said since he lowered the class average on tests, he ought to buy them all drinks as an apology. And Miko Shibakun, he was having too much fun with it to stop. He started offering tutoring sessions to Toshiro-kun. Only so he and his crew could extract their tuition from him. They'd even break into his house while his mother was at work and take the money she left him for dinner. And if he couldn't pay, They'd beat him up at school, or make him grovel in the bathroom. Didn't anybody see what was really happening? The teachers either saw nothing or turned a blind eye. Few students knew about it, though. Anyway, I ended up relaying everything Toshiro-kun had told me to those boys' homeroom teacher. Mind you, this teacher had tenure, title, and... Years of experience under his belt. Do you know what he told me? He said not to cause a commotion because those boys were about to graduate. Why does that not surprise me? To be honest, it was hard to paint such an outwardly model student in a negative light. There was also no hard evidence to support Toshiro-kun's story. But someone still should have stepped in to help. If only I'd understood that at the time. You tried. The only thing I tried was to keep an eye out for him. 
making sure he wasn't alone, things like that. But unfortunately, that wasn't good enough. On the first morning of the third trimester, Toshiro-kun tied a towel to his doorknob and hung himself in his room. And that's when you confronted Mikoshiba, right? You asked him point blank if he'd bullied him. I did. So, four years ago, Sawa-sensei stood up to Mikoshiba for his terrible behavior. Then why has she kept that to herself for so long? Mikoshiba-kun pretended to know nothing. He was more careful, shaken even, from then on. In all honesty, when I heard a third-party committee was investigating, I was hoping the truth would come out. Students were asked to fill out an anonymous questionnaire. And many of them wrote down exactly what they saw. Hold on. Didn't the court end up declaring there was no substantial evidence of bullying? How could they have said that with those questionnaires on hand? First of all, the committee never interviewed anyone directly. Those questionnaires were the only proof of anything. And the teacher of those boys was the one who collected them. Each time he came across any mention of bullying, he'd toss that questionnaire out. Also, he wouldn't get blamed in the end for ignoring the warning signs. So then the committee was pointless. A few students did speak up about the bullying online, but their posts weren't much to go on. Toshiro-kun's parents were completely caught off guard. His mother worked through the day, and his father lived all the way in Tokyo. That made it that much easier for the teacher to cover up all the evidence of bullying. He made that statement without even consulting the principal or the chairman. So, right before Miko Shibakun graduated, the committee presented their findings. That there was no evidence of bullying. The conclusion you've heard over and over. What the hell? In Japan, 300 children commit suicide every year. Across all grades, less than 3% are proven to be linked to bullying. Toshiro-kun's case ended up like that, too. But Ehara-san wasn't satisfied with those findings. So he sued Serio Hai, demanding compensation for Toshiro-kun's death. As the trial dragged on, I was eventually called to the witness stand. Of course, my intention was to let everything I knew out into the open. But before that could happen, that damn teacher came with the school's attorney to see how I would testify. They didn't want you making them look bad, huh? Of course not. That's when I first learned what he did with those incriminating questionnaires. They had no choice but to reveal everything to me, to try and sway me to their side. I guess they were just that desperate. After all, I was the only adult who Toshiro-kun confided in. I don't think he'd spoken to his parents about it once. So yes, that's why there was never any objective evidence of bullying. It wasn't like I had a mind to record our conversations. And I hadn't personally witnessed it either. The school attorney saw fit to remind me that the law says innocent until proven guilty. And if I couldn't produce tangible evidence, then I shouldn't be accusing Miko Shibakun. So it was witness tampering? That is, they coerced you into false testimony? Uh, yes. It must have been incredibly hard on you. What I should have done was told the truth regardless. But what else could I have really done for him? Some days I just don't know. As much as I've tried to convince myself I did everything I could for him, I can never fully believe it. So what happened to the teacher who covered all this up? He transferred to another school. Got to think he's still standing at a podium somewhere. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Even so, I don't have the right to place the blame solely on him. Wait, where in this story did Ehara definitely find out that Mikoshiba was a bully? It wasn't clear at the trial whether he could really bring himself to kill a person. 
Maybe, but in that case, Mikoshiba's bullying of Toshiro, or those questionnaires getting discarded. Have you ever told anyone else? No. I've been silent. Yagami-san, you know what? Back when I was a student in high school, I witnessed bullying firsthand. There was this kid. My classmates pushed him too far. And one day, he just jumped off the roof. Off the roof? By some miracle, he survived the fall. And he's been in a coma for the last 13 years. Nobody knows if he'll ever wake up. His name is Mitsuru, and he may never open his eyes to the world again. His mom watches him, but she works full time. She's a higher up in the government. I'm sorry to hear it. The worst part is that his teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it. But all he said was, don't overdo it. But afterward, the public eviscerated him. He had to quit his teaching job. And yet, for poor Toshiro-kun, nobody was held responsible at all. And that includes me. But if anyone was going to take responsibility for that, Mikoshiba should have been first in line. I'm sure Ohara-san must have thought the same thing. You know what I wanted to be as a kid? I was so innocent, I wanted to be a teacher. And after Mitsuro-kun's tragedy, I felt practically obligated. And still, I just let history repeat itself. <laughs> I think I have a clear picture about what happened four years ago and I'm ready to interview Ehara. I should go back to Yokohama 99 and get some rest. Let's get some rest again. And who knows what else. Oh no 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 no. I was thinking that is the elevator. <laughs> I didn't watch. And who are you? No way. Excuse me. Huh? Oh man, look at this one now. He's the devil. What? Oh. Yagami-san. I'm Asawa. Yeah. Well. Gotcha. No. I'm not going to speak with you. I just want to get out. My god, where is the exit from this building? No, that's the gym. Oh my god, really?
This is the basement floor. Oh my god. I don't know where is the exit. I'm stuck in this. That's the class. Another class. It's okay there. It's okay there. No. There's always something when I want to go in. Hmm? Oh, don't tell me we have a side mission now with the dog. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Other way. Sure. I see. Hmm? Wait. Huh. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> a new partner? Who's a good boy? Follow the detective dog. We have so many important things and now we are walking a dog. Oh, it's good that we can Got something? run. This way, huh? Oh, you dog. Got something? Hmm? Mm. Excuse me. Um, mm. what? I see. something doing great got something this way huh there's more Yakuza.
Hey. In other words, no. Excuse me. Who's a good boy? Hmm. Hmm? Uh, I have a huge favor. I, I'll, I'll pay you if I have to. Please find the rampo for me. The lost. Okay. Okay. Seriously? Yagami-san. Nope. It can't huh? beat us. Huh? Um, yes. Does that mean? <laughs> what? Hey. <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Go after your dog. That's a gadget? Now let's go to our real business. What is going on? Having a party? Hey, welcome back. Care for a drink, Yagami-san? Heads up. Now make yourself at home. Not that you haven't already. Who, me? Well, whatever do you mean? Kuan is fine. He just swung by to have a chat with you, man. Not that I mind hanging out over beers and shogi. Kaito's a gentleman and a scholar. I like your style. What do you want with me? Check it out, Yakami-san. You're only here to get to the bottom of that Hiro Mikushiba kid's murder, right? That's gotta be the reason the Yokohama Liumang attacked you, isn't it? All I'm saying is that you've gotta cut me in, man. Thanks, but I've got enough help. So some hotshot detective strolls into town and tries to leave the local guy out in the cold? <laughs> no offense, but that's not gonna fly. You gonna play your turn? Just finish your game and go home already. Wouldn't you benefit from someone who knows the scene? You know, I can get you anywhere in a jean show above or below ground. Aren't you expensive? I'll give you a first-time customer price. I'm not about to sit here and let some outsider swoop in and take all the credit alone. And that means I guess I'm gonna chill here until you give me the nod. It's Sukumo and Sukiura's place as far as I'm concerned. Not even my call to make. I welcome having more company. The more the merrier. That'll be the agency motto. I don't really care. Such a nice office. I'm gonna love it here. <laughs> and then just stay here. Uh, Yagamishi, guess what? The internet picked up on the Ahara link to Mikoshiba. The trending sentiment is that he killed him in an act of vengeance for his son. They've already figured that part out? See for yourself. Here, check it out. Check it out. Son of a bitch student teacher should burn in hell for bullying a kid all the way to suicide. Mikoshiba was a damn psychopath. Ehara is the vigilante groper. And that's not even the trolls. 
So the news is blowing up on the net, huh? In the internet terms, this is only the first spark that could ignite into a fire. Not even what I'd call viral. Then who's lighting the spark? The people responsible for Mikoshiba's murder? I'll have to go down a few more rabbit holes before I can make that call, I'm afraid. Gotcha. That said, some posts are kinda suspicious. This one here, for instance. Ehara totally called the location of the body at his trial. The fact that he did that never really even went public, as far as I could tell. It was kept off the record? When Ahara got arrested, the cop turned Groper story and his sexual battery charges were huge news. It was all the media could talk about. But by the time his trial rolled around, the news had already moved on. His guilty verdict barely made a blip. Fellas, I told you I wanted to be kept in the loop on this stuff. You saying Mikoshiba had more than one killer? And where are they now? You think these lunatics are still hanging around Ijincho? It's been over two months already, man. If they were here, they're probably long gone by now. Another peaceful day in Ijincho, right? Oh my, oh my, oh my god. Check outside. The mask, man. The white mask again. Let's go, Cock. I'll catch you later. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. You're not getting away this time. Die. You won't get let's, away. Let's run. You're mine. I didn't saw that. Great. Where am I? Yeah, no problem. I can deal with you. You lure me here? Don't worry, man. I'm not planning on killing you tonight. Okay, but why else would you take off the mask? Because from this point forward, Eugene Cho is closed. You won't be coming back. I'm Tesso. For what it's worth, I'm an officer candidate of the Yokohama Liomon. I hear you took out some of my masked boys the other day. 
Oh, you mean those guys who thought they could sneak up on me in the afternoon? Maybe if you hadn't resisted at the time, you'd be in a lot less pain than you're about to be in the near future. Who's paying you to try to take me down? This is a job that came down from the top of the org. I don't know who hired us, and to be honest, I don't give a shit either. But... Hmm. Ripping up a kick-ass detective like you sure sounds like a good time. None of you guys make a move! I want to see if the rumors are true, so I get first taste. <laughs> Show me what you got. Turn on me! Some heal, please. I have to purchase more health potions. Stay down. Tonight, are we, Kaito-san? Yeah, my bad. Had to punch my way through a few guys. Hey, you gotta run for it. If you stick around, it's not gonna matter how many lives you've got. Yeah, but if I run now, who's gonna pay for Tsukumo's window then? Huh? Uh. For fuck's sake, I'll just pay for it. Now get out of there. <laughs> you got a deal. Uh, you got a deal. Careful.
my way. And where is the boss? Oh, careful. I don't know, I am pressing the triangle when it appears on the screen, but... Up, get up. Done here. Yagami. Yeah. You want something? Uh, what was it? Tesso. Just want to say, I'm impressed. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to take out all these guys, to be honest. Uh, thanks. But if you're feeling generous, how about you tell me who hired you? <laughs> Didn't I say this before? I got no interest in doing that. Hey, can you do me a favor and turn down the job next time, maybe? Yeah, right. If the request comes through again, I'm taking it. The simplest solution for you is to get the hell out of town. Me and my big mouth. 
Just go already. Hey, not bad, man. A lot of young folks look up to Tesso. So gaining his respect is gonna have some perks. All I want to know is if the view mob are no longer a threat. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. Tesso's not the only young hothead among them. But hey, at least they probably won't blindside you anymore. And that's a victory in itself. Guess that is a step forward. A baby one. <laughs> anyway, we should go check up on 99. Something tells me they're not in the clear just yet. Let's go to the store and buy some food. Restoring a little bit of health. We restore health and charge the ex-gorge a little. Oh, that's an accessory. That's all for now. God. Yagamishi. Oh, thank God you're back. Tsukuma, what happened? He's knocked out cold. Damn it. Masked men attacked us. I couldn't fight them. Masked men, you say? Were they any different from what the Liumang wear? Uh, I, I couldn't get a good look. Sukiyoshi, they stuck up on him with a bat and came after me next. They caught me. My pinky. They broke it. Hey, are you okay? I'll call an ambulance. There are these photos and a message I was told to give to you, Yagamishi. They said to tell you this is your final warning. They've been spying on me? It hurts. Shit. If they want me, then come after me. Talk. I think the Leomon were part of the plan as bait. They probably only came to lure us away from the office. The worst part is it fucking worked! <sighs> this camera ought to show everyone coming in and out of the building. Look. There's me and Kaito chasing down the Leoman. But here's the hitch. There were seven of them. 
and they didn't have those trademark white masks. So clearly, they're not Liumang. <laughs> they must have got the white masks to lure us out, meaning they're the ones calling the shots here. Wouldn't surprise me if they were also Ahara's accomplices to murder. That'd be something. No, it's hard to believe a single murder could involve so many people. Really? Why do you say that? More friends, more loose lips. One slip of the tongue can bring down an entire group. Taking a man's life would require absolute solidarity from every single member. What could be their connection? Could be their Ahara's buddies in blue. After hearing what happened to his kid, they couldn't help but feel for the guy. If it were me, yeah, I'd sympathize. But not enough to watch a man die. Or do the deed myself. Yeah, who throw their life away for that? Unless we're talking about the mob over here. That e sig's that good, huh? Considering the area's volatility, the Liumang are the best bet in the house. But if it's not them... Well, there is the Seiryu clan. But they have some decorum compared to these guys. And then the Komi Jewel, the Koreans, they would never get caught on camera. They're shy like that. Go figure. <laughs> Impressive list you've got up there, Mr. Handyman. Too bad they're all dead in. Hey, if there's a crime in Kamurocho, would you know who did it off the top of your head? Uh, no. So these guys kill Mikoshiba, huh? What sort of faces are behind those masks? This footage is the lead we've been waiting for. Now we're gonna hunt them down with Tsukumo and Sukiura. You get hit in the head or something? Find them and they'll mess your ass up. Will they? Don't you get it? They were planning to take you out, man. The Liumang letting you off is nothing short of a miracle. Or would you rather risk your neck over nothing? Where we come from, risking our necks the bare minimum. Yui show guys must not see much action. Yeah, well, any gene show, a handyman's wages don't cover life and limb. I don't recall ever hiring you. Yeah, and if you asked me now, I'd say hell no. This shit's getting way too over my head. And yours. Yeah, let's just run. We don't care about you. Sorry, Kaito-san. But I'm gonna have to pass on drinks for a while. Send my regards to the lads. Well, hey, never chase with leaves. New info. The bad guys. on the couch yes but i'm not going to do that right now all that said i think we better take the day off can't go running around while our boys are hurting yeah but we are going to rest tomorrow so i'll be back tomorrow morning with a longer stream and we are going to see what will be next so thank you guys for watching Take care, good night.